Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 famous child celebs who ruined their careers. So, when you're a child star, your career can go one of two ways. You can either become the next big thing and become a ginormous movie star, or your career can fizzle out, whether you want it to or not. Well, here are some famous child stars who ended up ruining their own careers. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 is Jake Lloyd. So we all remember Jake Lloyd from the Star Wars movies. He of course played a very cute young Anakin Skywalker, but you haven't seen him in many movies recently, and there's a reason for that. As Jake got older, he got more and more erratic. He actually got into an altercation with his mom. Later on, he was even arrested for reckless driving and driving without a license. Not to mention, he also resisted arrest. He was locked up and people were stunned when they saw his very scary looking mugshot. Who'd have thought such a cute kid would have such a spooky looking mugshot? Either way, he was taken to a psychiatric place and was held there for a while. He's now totally retired from acting and it seems he won't be coming back to the silver screen. I wish Jake the best and I hope he doesn't get into any more legal troubles. Next up is Gary Coleman. So we all know Gary Coleman from the show Different Strokes. He was in the show as a child star and he's known for the famous line, What you talking about Willis? Now, most of the time, child stars make a ton of money, and so did Gary, except there was one problem. His financial managers were his own parents. And by the time he got old enough to take control of his own finances, he realized his parents had spent all of his money. To make matters worse, in 2010, he was arrested in Utah. Apparently, he got into a big altercation with his wife and had to be arrested by the cops. He was then taken to jail and was unable to post $2,000 bail. Eventually, he did get out, but not after his very scary mugshot was released. In the mugshot, people were still Done, as he looked very run down, completely different to how he looked as a young kid. Sadly, Gary never got the chance to turn his career around, as just a few months after getting arrested in 2010, he passed away. Next up is Corey Haim. So if you were an 80s child, then I'm sure you remember Corey Haim. He was in pretty awesome movies like Lucas, Licensed to Drive, and Dream a Little Dream. So he was a big child actor and a teen icon, but what happened to Corey Haim? Well, he had some issues, and as he got older, these issues got worse and worse, so he had to stop acting. By the time he was 15, he'd already dabbled in various substances. According to his acting duo and friend Corey Feldman, a powerful producer is to blame for Corey Haim's problems. Apparently, a producer abused Corey Haim when he was a young boy. His teen difficulties continued into adulthood, and Corey Haim sadly passed away in 2010. Next up is Jonathan Taylor Thomas. If you were around in the 80s and 90s, I'm sure you remember Jonathan Taylor Thomas, better known as JTT. He was a child icon and many girls had a big crush on him back in the day. He was best known for his work on the show Home Improvement, but he also voiced various characters such as young Simba in The Lion King. Now with all this success, you may assume he would be a big adult actor, but I'm sure many kids today haven't even heard of JTT. You see, he simply walked away from fame. Some say because he was such a big star when he was younger, he simply got burnt out. However, it seems he's now trying to get back into the limelight. He's been seen having various smaller roles in TV shows. Who knows, maybe JTT will become a big actor once again. What do you think? Next up is Orlando Brown. So if you watched the Disney Channel, then I'm sure you remember Orlando Brown. In case you don't, he played the lovable character Eddie on That's So Raven. And in 2017, Disney brought out Raven's Home. This was supposed to be a comeback for That's So Raven, and Raven Simone and Annalise Vanderpool were both invited back. However, Orlando Brown was not. But why, you may be asking? Well, this is because he turned pretty controversial. In 2014, he was charged with being publicly intoxicated. He was also disturbing the peace and threatening a lady. Two years later, in 2016, he was charged with battery and also having illegal substances. Disney are family friendly, so they did not want to be associated with this. However, he did score a role in the movie Straight Outta Compton. And apparently, he's now even started his own music label. But the most interesting thing about Orlando Brown is he has a tattoo of Raven on his neck. Either he has a strange choice in tattoos, or that was a crazy bet. Next up is Shia LaBeouf. So, Shia LaBeouf was a massive child star, featuring in such awesome movies like Holes. He's also been in Transformers and, of course, the Disney Channel series Even Stevens. But nowadays, Shia LaBeouf is a bit of a meme. He's pulled various stunts, such as showing up to an award show with a bag on his head saying, I am not famous anymore. He also released a crazy motivational video shouting, just do it. He also tried to install a flag saying he will not divide us, but was trolled by 4chan. It seems Shia LaBeouf is not getting the amount of movie work he once did. But his wackiness has kept him in the public eye, so who knows, maybe he could become famous again. 
Next up is Amanda Bynes. So Amanda Bynes is of course from The Amanda Show. This was a sketch show on Nickelodeon where she had many crazy characters. But some say she's become a bit of a crazy character herself. When she got a bit older, she was charged with a DUI, which kind of ended her career. She was also arrested after trying to start a fire outside her own home. She was locked up and assessed for 72 hours, and they assessed her as kind of crazy. She hasn't been in a movie or TV show for around 10 years, and many people say she is unlikely to return to the limelight. Next up is Jake T. Austin. So if you guys grew up watching Wizards of Waverly Place, I'm sure you remember Jake T. Austin. He played Max Russo on the show, and then when he was older he went on to play Jesus on the show The Fosters. However in 2014, Jake had a meltdown backstage at the Teen Choice Awards. Apparently he yelled at a worker because the worker didn't know who he was. He allegedly threw things at the worker, yelled at him and then stormed off. Things then got even worse for Jake, as he was involved in a four car hit and run. His car slammed into four other cars, and many people say he may have even been drinking and driving. Later on he was arrested for a DUI, but some say that's a different occasion. Either way, it's clear that Jake T. Austin has really grown up. Next up is Mitchell Musso. Mitchell Musso got a lot of success in his roles in Hannah Montana and Pair of Kings. But one terrible mistake ended this Disney star's career. A few years back, after Mitchell didn't stop at a traffic stop, the police pulled him over. They then realised he smelled of alcohol and he had to do a breathalyzer test. It turns out he was pretty hammered and was arrested. He was let off with a small fine, but Disney were not happy. They actually cancelled his show Prank Stars and his show Pair of Kings. Mitchell hasn't been in any big movies recently. However, when Phineas and Ferb was on, he actually played Jeremy. Who knows, maybe Mitchell Musso will return to the limelight with some more adult roles. Next up is Macaulay Culkin. So I thought we'd end with a positive one. This is a child star who ruined their career and then turned it around again. We all remember young Mac from amazing films such as Home Alone and Richie Rich. But when he was a little older, he was arrested for possession of substances. Now, this happens to many Hollywood stars and it's not such a big deal. But because we were so used to seeing him as a young kid, he was kind of demonized by the media. However, he has since made a comeback. He's recently appeared on various shows like Ellen and Jimmy Kimmel. And he even launched a satire website recently called Bunny Ears, which is pretty funny. It's good that child stars obviously can turn their lives around. Let's hope some of the child stars on this list take after Macaulay Culkin and turn their lives back around. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the child star you like the most. If you guys want more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.